Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. And I would so appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. That way you get notifications on when my next video pops out. <laughs> All right, so today we're doing this Alice in Wonderland cake topper. And I, I mean, this was an experiment for me. Luckily it was for uh, someone who was just, you know, just said, do whatever you wanna do. All I want is an Alice in Wonderland theme. So I got to play around with it. In my mind, I really wanted to do this hourglass that was going to spin and also have confetti inside that would act like the sands of time <laughs> from Days of Our Lives. I don't know if anybody watches that. <laughs> but anyway, um, that was what was really important to me. So we did make it kind of big because um, it's almost nine inches wide. But I'm gonna show you like what, how I kind of just go from a, a concept to putting it down. So normally, if you look at this cake topper, I feel like it's a little bit different than my other cake toppers because um, the colors right now are kind of weird because, you know, I used a lot of white, for instance, and but I want a different white paper. So you, you can't have it all white because then it all shows up on one, um, cutting mat so that's why the the you know the bunny ears are not green i didn't do <laughs> green uh so anyway but i feel like this cake topper is a little bit different than the ones i normally do because um it is more simple this doesn't look very simple right now because the colors are all over the place but really on this one i felt like i really trimmed it down we had uh multiple shades of white so you had white glitter cardstock and then we had the white basil Swiss dot paper. So it just kind of gives it, even though it, they're both white, it gave it a very, I felt like a very refined and polished, but yet um, detailed, you know, cake topper. And the same thing with the blue, like we had just this blue um, kind of going with the blue that was gonna be in the sticker. Um, so anyway, and normally I have like uh, like a shape behind it and then multiple layers, but this one was really built upon the four cards. Like I started with the cards and then I knew I wanted a little banner. So anyway, we'll get started. But I just kind of wanted to talk you through why this looks a little bit different. I feel like it's, it's a much different um, uh, project uh, or like, you know, showcasing a different side of my work but that could just be me. <laughs> all right, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that we're always gonna have this kind of on the side so you guys get like a view of what that looks like. And actually, you know what I'll do? I'm going to, I like doing it like this. So I'm going to do this and I'm gonna flatten it. So that way, oh my, that didn't work. Let me undo that. Um, oh, because the cards are white. Okay, so let me, give me just one second. We're gonna change this. And the reason why I like doing flatten, because you see all these items over here, it's gonna get cluttered and it's gonna get confusing with the new ones that we bring in. So let me change the colors of the cards just so that we can kinda, all right, I'll do it like that. I know it looks crazy, but that way you can really see everything. Um, all right, so I'm gonna flatten it. Okay, eh, I know it doesn't look amazing, but we'll put it over here on the side. All right, so the first thing is let's go to images um, and look up cards. I think that's what I did. <laughs> um, and I use Design Space I use the design space images quite a bit. I do have Cricut access so you can see it right there. Um, oh no, I put in playing cards. That's what I did. And there's still a ton of results, right? Um, okay. So let's look at our cards. And I love the way the cards came out. I did um, the white card. Oh, I use these right here. So let's bring in these four okay so we'll insert the images I did all white playing cards the back of the cards um, well I'll show you but the 
I made it really easy so that we didn't have any little intricate details. All right, so here are our cards. And you know when I'm designing, I don't, I'm not resizing the cards right now. The cards are just gonna come in, everything's going to be sized uh, relative to the cards, and then at the end we can resize everything. All right, so here are the playing cards. What I did was I changed them all to white. Right, so that's the way they're gonna cut. This one is not the same card. You can see how it's different. So let's go back to images. And so I need the spade, okay. So that was not the right card for the spade. This one. So this one I'm gonna delete. This one, I'm gonna move over here and it's the right size. I'm gonna change it to white. Now, so these cards are gonna cut in white. That's how the cards came out. And then what we wanna do is basically we want to, um, you know what, we only need to do one because they're all the same size, right? Three inches, three inches, perfect. They are all the same size. So we're gonna duplicate this one and we're gonna go to contour. I love contouring. Contouring makes everything so easy. I'm basically going to hide all. I want just the shape of this card and look how easy that is, right? I'm gonna change this one to red because it's gonna go behind my ace of hearts and my ace of diamonds, right? So I'm gonna duplicate that. And then how that's gonna look is I use red glitter cardstock with white glitter cardstock. So I'm gonna arrange this and send it to the front just so that you guys can see what that looks like. So it's gonna look like this, right? So instead of having a really small diamond cut out in red glitter cardstock and then gluing it on top, it's so much easier to have it sit like a full card behind it. You can also use foam tape to add like, you know, the little depth the layer to it, even though it's the same size, but visually when you see it on your cake topper, it's gonna pop out. Everything's gonna pop out and it's not gonna look flat. So that's why I love doing it this way. Now we need the two black cards. So I'm gonna duplicate this one and I'm gonna change that one to black. And then I'm gonna duplicate that one as well because we have two black cards, right? So these I'm gonna bring to the front, arrange, send to the front. Okay, so now what I like to do is I just, just for ease of design, I do this. I grab these two and um, you can just go to align, center it and group it so now these two cards move as one, so when we resize one, we're resizing the other one, right? Um, so same thing with these two. I'm gonna grab these two. And the reason why I'm aligning them is so that I always do um, a full background. So once I lay everything out, I grab the whole thing, I copy it, and I weld it so that I have a solid, backing that's going to be glued to the wooden dowel and that way all my pieces all my playing cards my four the name everything sits on top of this big piece the reason why you want that is one it's easy to piece everything together because we can glue everything on top or tape everything on top the second reason why you want to do that is it really gives you the stability that you want on your cake topper you're if you've ever built a bad cake topper you sometimes wonder if your cake topper is gonna to survive, right? Because it's top heavy and it starts to bend. We want a straight cake topper that you know can stand on its own, will make it through like the walk from the kitchen to the party tape area, and you know, no one has to hold it while you're walking with it. We want it stable. So that's why you want that full card. Now, so the reason why I'm doing this, where I'm grouping it together, is because I wanna make sure that it's aligned properly so that when I make a copy and I weld it, the welded piece, you know, that solid background is accurate. So that's what we're doing. All right, so let's grab these two and we're going to align and group. Um, 
all these little things it may seem like a lot of work but it's actually it's it's a really good practice because in this one um you'll find that my original design i ended up not going with it and it still worked out so it um so sorry let me align this and then i'll talk about that as well um I ended up doing a different arrangement of my cards, but because my background was white glitter cardstock and the outline was white, um, and the way I just put everything together, you couldn't tell on the cake topper that that was not the original design. It was very similar, but I moved the playing cards around a little bit more than I thought I would. Okay, so the way the playing cards went, it was this one, kind of rotated a little bit and then this one um you know kind of like a playing hand that's how i originally designed it and this one goes in the back arrange send to the back and then this one all the way in the back now knowing that i switched it up i'm not too tied on you know making this totally work <laughs> but I think I had it something like this now let's do the banner so go to images and I love this little name banner I use it so often in my cake toppers because um, so let's type in banner because it kind of just ties everything together now oh no I always worry when my screen gets stuck like that because then I worry about how the video is going to actually translate. All right, so there's a number of banners that you can choose from. Um, I really like this one, and there's a few of them that, that are very similar, but I'll tell you why. I'll, let's just use this one. It might be the same one. I'm not even sure. So you can see I'm not very exact in that. I sort of have like this general idea of what I want it to look like and this is not the same banner because you can see it doesn't have this little piece right here or this piece down here but maybe it's the same no it's not it's more straight right so anyway but it's gonna work so let's make this big so that it fits with the cards we will resize at the end remember so let's say we wanted something like this you want to duplicate this because you have your top piece, this piece, this ribbon's going to cut like this, and then we want to contour, and we want to hide all, and I made this one white, this one was blue, and then this one I'm going to uh, arrange, send this to the front, so that this piece cuts out all as one piece, it's nice and thick. It's never failed to cut for me. And you see how it sits like that? It's just so pretty. Um, again, I'm gonna align and center because I'm going to want to you know, weld the whole background together. So this is now grouped, so it's gonna move together and we're gonna do something like this. Now, let's go to text. Text, this is my favorite font and I just realized I forgot to tag them in my post. <laughs> All right, so when you go to font, we're gonna go and search for Hannah Berry Coop. This is my favorite font from Creative Fabrica. You do have to buy it or buy a membership. It's up to you. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna type Jasmine. Oops, I didn't spell her name correctly. I like this font for a number of reasons. Um, oh, my N. And I say, oh, there it is. It did come through. Um, I say it every time because it has that whimsy, like, um, cute bounce lettering, but it's not a delicate font. So it's, I love it. So with Jasmine and the way that Design Space kerns your kerns the letters, you know, basically attaches them, you still need to go and you need to weld it. Otherwise, each letter is gonna cut out separately and you don't want that. We want it to flow where there's no ending of the J into the A, okay? Trust me on that, you wanna weld it. Now, I always like to do an offset. My original design had three, 
it was too much. I ended up going with just two. So on this one, what you wanna do is you wanna click on the name after you've welded it. Why is it not clicking on my name? <laughs> um. Oh man, come on Design Space, don't do this to me. So it's selected up here, but it's not, mm, let's see if the offset works. So offset, this neutral line right here means that there's no offset. If you go to the left of it, it's a negative offset. It's gonna be inside of the letter. And then if you go to the right of it, it's positive, so it's bigger. So I tend to like my offset at 0 0.10. So you can type that in and I'm gonna apply. So there is my offset. Let's see, what did I do the name? The name, I think I did it in white. So I'm gonna change, why is it not applying? Okay, so I'm gonna change the name to white. And then I did the offset. I did it in this gold foil. It was really, really pretty. And then I'm going to group these two together. Why is it not letting me? grab it. So I'm going to hit the shift key and grab both of them here. I'm going to group it and oh man, it's not letting me, what just happened? I can't resize anything. Okay. That's going to suck because I can't show you. Oh my gosh. I can't move anything right now. You've got to be kidding me. We started this tutorial. All right. I'm gonna do a part one and a part two for design space, which I hate, but you guys have are, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna close it and open it and restart. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, bye guys.